Hi everybody, my name is David Janke. Uh, we are filming today from the University of Celaya. I'm professor and uh, chef and leader for uh, licensed to green gastronomy. And today we have our students which will help us with the recipes. Today we're going to show first the recipe, which is like a more Mexican style recipe. It's stuffed jalapeno chilies, which are stuffed with huitlacoche mushroom. Huitlacoche is very unique. We just use it in Mexico. We call it also the black caviar. It's the fungus of the corn. Um, we're gonna use make a sauce which is also very Mexican sauce it uh, we call it choconosle it's like a cactus fruit which is very sour and we're gonna use some uh, chili which is very spicy too and a little bit of sugar to um, get a little bit away of the of the acid flavor of the of, of the sauce so first of all Manuel is gonna start to caramelize some onion and chopped garlic with a little bit of butter he's gonna put it on low fire and let it caramelize for about five to ten minutes in the meantime when the onion and the garlic is caramelizing Manuel is also going to start to make the sauce so at the end both are going to be made at the same time we're going to put the pan on fire, we're going to add a little bit of sugar and wait until it starts to caramelize too. The caramel will give us a little bit more consistency to the sauce on the ends. It's a very nice recipe because it's rich of umami flavors. Since we have butter, we have cheese, we have garlic, we have onion, uh, we have the fungus of the corn. Gonna high up fire a little bit to make the caramel happen. In the meantime, we are caramelizing the onion and the garlic with butter. It takes a little bit to get all the water out, which will help to reduce uh, re reduce a little bit uh, and to make more intense the flavor. It takes a little bit, so the sugar gets warm and hot and starts to melt. You can see now it's starting to caramelize. Not make it too sour, we're gonna add a little bit of the, the chili first and also of the cactus fruit, which is very sour. We're gonna add a little bit of white wine. Now we are going to add also a little bit of honey. The choconos, the cactus wood is very sour, very sour. But it has a nice contrast with the, with the spicy chili flavor. So now we're just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper just to give it more flavor. And leave it cook for about three to four minutes. And then we blend it to have like a nice puree sauce. A little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper very well leave it cook for four minutes Manuel and then we're gonna blend it the next thing here now you can see the, the onion and the garlic started to caramelize it's frying kind of and it's getting smaller too which shows us that the most part of the water is it's gone so at this point we're going to add the wheat lacoche the fungus of the corn plants and we're going to fry it a little bit together with the butter and the garlic and the onion we are going to add a little bit of salt and pepper of pepper we fry it about for like two minutes just to make sure it, it's it cooks and then we're gonna add a little bit of cream it's like a thick sour cream 
but just to give it like a little bit more consistent on the end we're also going to add two kinds of cheeses the cheeses we end we add on the end uh, just to turn off the fire and the cheese will help us to make to cool off a little bit the wheat lacoche mushroom to be able to to stuff the chilies can add the cheese now now we turned off the fire it's turned off and now we're going to mix all nice together we have two kinds of cheeses here one is cream cheese which is very uh, very smooth and soft and fresh and the other cheese we, it's Oaxaca cheese it's a Mexican cheese which is like uh, uh, made of cow milk and it has much more um, a, a content of a, a natural um, a cow milk right yeah. You can use any kind of cow milk cheese. You can use also like um, European cheese, like Adam cheese or cheeses which melt very nice. As you can see, the, the cheese is now melting. We're just going to mix everything very well together so we have like everything uh, perfectly mixed and no chunks of big cheese anymore. And now we're going to the next part. Yuna's gonna help us to stuff the chilies now. Yuna, go ahead, please. Take the small spoon. Manuel, take una licuadora. Una licuadora. Lo hacemos en otro lado. ¿Dónde es? En otra licuadora. Aunque no se firma, nada más le cuadra. Tú la. Sí, sí. O con Nacho. Okay. Now you're not feeling the chilies, as you can see. The chilies we we just give like a little fry. We took off the the head part, took out the seeds because the seeds are very spicy, and then we just fry them in oil so we can take off the peel, and so they get very uh, tender and very smooth and very easy to to fill. Now we're gonna uh, Yuna is filling them with the cheese and with the wheat lacoche fungus. After we're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. We're gonna pass them through just a little bit of flour, then through egg, and then through a little bit of panko bread. Panko bread is basically like um, in breader um, for the chilies, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Three more. Push it down with the spoon, with the other side of the spoon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very well. One more. In the meantime, we're gonna. One more. Okay. Is he loading us? Okay. Now she's passing you through the flour. The flour to the egg. And from the egg to the panko bread. You. Now we have like a nice stuffed chili with panko bread.
to go. Very well, now we have the chilies embedded here. And then we're going to heat up the pan a little bit, just a little bit, to fry them. To fry them we use a little bit of, of clarified butter, which we have clarified before. Manuel in the meantime, he finished the sauce, basically he just blended it in a mixer and we will give it another uh, cooking so it get a little bit more consistency of the caramel. As you can see it got like kind of to a puree. And now we are frying the chilies here very smooth and slowly with a little bit of clarified butter. The butter it gives a very nice taste to it, no? See. Since the chili already is cooked and since the filling already is cooked ingredients, we don't need to fry them too long. Just like it gets a nice uh, color. Try the sauce, Manuel, please. Try it. Taste it. See if it needs more salt or anything else. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, it's spicy. It's very spicy sauce, yeah. yeah. You can use different chilies. You don't need to use the spicy chili. We have used uh, the most spicy chili right now, so... So now you can see the chili is getting a nice appearance. It's like a golden color because of the bread. You just make sure to fry them from every side. And that's basically it. Now we have the chilies fried. We just add a little bit to the sauce. It's not a main dish, you can use it as an entrance, simply. Use the plate. It's a kind of a puree with the fruit inside and the chili. Use it like a, as a base sauce. And then we just present the chili. It's a nice entrance. You can fill them any kind of uh, style actually. This one is very Mexican style. It's a very nice dish and uh, typical ingredients from Mexican regions, right? So, a way to be served. Thank you.